most about it. How do you spell chose? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, otherwise it's choose, right? right. But yeah, that, I believe that's chose. So there's no, and then if you run it again and you hit yes, it says you chose yes. So what's nice about the message box function is it returns whatever you click. Yeah. So you could do something like result message result. So that would be no. That would be yes, cancel, and so on and forth. Uh, IR for or no, it's not ignore retries. RC. There we go, retry and cancel. I don't know why that's doing that. Oh, I still got it on. Okay. Yeah, with yours, I disabled this move. Oh, okay. I have it moving it over to the right-hand side of my studio. Oh, okay, and, cool. Offsetting it just to yeah. get out of the center. Huh. Right. But how, when you're right, when you're like there, because I know from using it plenty of times before, if you just, if you put in several things and use a comma to separate it, it'll, it'll, put them on different rows. Yeah. So I, I, what I understand though is when you're calling it in your example in the other script. These are specials. BTN. Yeah. If you go. Well, when you here, do that. Well, inside of here, if it's, if it's, if the key is, or if the, whatever's before the colon uh -huh. is one of the uh, buttons, special. okay. BTN here, it replaces it. ICO, it'll replace it. And in that example, now if you added one more after the push, yeah, there, now is it still going to do that as a separate line? Sure. Oh, cool. Wow, okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you put, you know, the um, uh -huh. button, default, or icon. It doesn't care. Okay. It just replaces it. But uh, I'm going to be a little scatterbrained, so you may want to you know, re record this at your leisure. No, it's fine. I think you're doing good. Then why don't you just do one example showing in, um, if it was an object with some text in it instead of actual text? Let's go with something normal. I call it OBJ, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, you're just adding it on. That's cool. I didn't even... What's uh, that? Nothing. I, I was thinking, again, I would have deleted everything first, but it's just, that's the way my mind's thinking. Um, yeah, and then, and then just if you do OBJ.2, you'll get the there yeah but that's that's yeah. pre-calling it yeah cool I think that that's just a text then yeah so if you know exactly which one you want but i mean granted most of the time like i'd be using this to be for uh building you know troubleshooting and, and, and building a new script i'm not going to know the exact things i want Oops. all right that's twice, dipshit. Come on. Are you nesting that so, array inside it? Yeah, you can you can make objects or arrays inside of objects or arrays. So object dot two is has one, two, and three in it. There are things and more. So 
here, it's 1.2.1, 2.2, 2.3. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And so forth. But well, what's nice is whatever it says, dot two dot one, if you go, if you put in object dot two dot one, you're going to get there. Yeah. Everything is laid out for you here. Yeah. Wherever you start, this is what you add to okay. it. Okay. It's the full path. path. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Obviously, you got to have the object in the beginning, but yeah. Right. Um, that's just so much more flexible than the regular message box. Uh, a little bit. I mean, it's not like crazy. I mean, it's still leveraging the base message box function or yeah, sure. command is yeah, just yeah. a little easier. You don't have to remember that um, RC is five, so retry cancels <laughs> five. Yeah, right. Or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, the the what I really like is when I'm looking at several things and I can just comma to limit you know a bunch of variables and it's it's so easy to put several oh, yeah. things in one message box it's, it's sure. and if you comma double quotes it'll put a space in between uh -huh. or what i like to do a lot of the times is put in a lot of enters and you can just space out your message boxes so that Makes things a little easier to read. Breaks things up a little bit. But, uh... Trying to think of what else. And there's really... No, it's, I think that's basically it, right? Mm -hmm. I can't think of anything else. But, yeah, it's just an amazing time saver for me because now I don't have to think, yeah. oh, what's in this object and yep. have to debug and all of that other stuff. It's just message box done with it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's why I had that hot string for the uh, basically the same similar to your object of string. Um, mm. But it's nice now having one, whether it's a, a you know a variable, text, or an object. It doesn't right, matter. and I believe the one you were using kind of like made a nested looking thing. I have two different ones that I use. One mm. makes it nested. The other one. And, and one of them truncates the text as well, which um, sometimes I like and sometimes I really hate. Right. One of them puts them into a JSON format, of, um, which I, I, I'm getting used to looking at, but the, I think the Object Explorer is the one that I use more often. I think this is so much easier. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Although for me, I, I need to put in a dot two dot one, and that's what yep. I need. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's usually half the battle, right? Is figuring out that damn path. Right, and then if you debug it into the window, then well, no, I don't have that set up. That's something that you'd have to use the object to string for. But uh, yeah, very cool. That it? That's it. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah.